What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we got a rap battle between Eric Cartman and Charlie Brown. And this is Animation versus Anything, Chapter 3, I guess. And this is from the channel Eddie F. FRB. Either way. But yeah, I, to be honest, I saw like a little glimpse of this on Twitter and such. And I see, and I haven't watched their reaction yet. But I see that What Do You Do Dave react, is reacting to this. And Darnell Bradley is reacting to this. So I figured, why not and such. But I want to say this. I was, nah, I'm kidding, let me shut up. I was going to say I was the one who saw this first and I came up with this idea. But that would sound egotistical of me. So it is what it is. But either way, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let's see. Okay, okay. You you already know with Carmen, with Cart Cartman and such, he always gonna be the asshole and such. So yeah, always gotta dig at Kyle and such. But he's saying about how he the first Jew to celebrate Christmas. To be honest, let me know. Hold on, let me see in the description if it's actually factual. Cause I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I watch a little. Bit, I remember watching Charlie Brown. I definitely. A little bit of Charlie Brown. I definitely remember watching South Park all the time. <laughs> they say this video is not made for kids. It contains reference to innuendo and mature subject matter that is not appropriate for young children. Well, trust me. Neither was Eric Cartman, but yet his ass. But shit, everybody watched him and remember his ass. So, can't really say that. <laughs> South Park. Yep, he is that. I'm just reading little sounds on here and all that. Oh yeah, let me know what you who you think is gonna win this and such. I gotta say, hold on, let me just drop the quality. Not that. I gotta say though, this sounds very smooth and such for a rap battle. Because normally with rap battles, you always hear intensity and whatnot. But sometimes, you like when the battle, like the, it don't seem like too loudness and such. So sometimes it's good to when it's like toned down a bit. So that way you can really hear the disses and such. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, whenever I'm reacting to the Freshy Canal rap battles, I ain't gonna cap. I be hearing the disses, but majority of the time, it's just the music that makes it be too epic and such. So, sometimes I like it where it's like, the music is a bit, well, a little bit more lower, but the vocals, we can hear it, so that way the disses are more pristine when you hear it. But back to this. Christmas tradition for culture than the kitties. Passing comics in the room, better from Jimmy. My job here is 
going home. If someone tell Linus is to see who I'm stuck with, he'd be thrilled to finally meet the great pup. Pumpkin, you two are alike. Though not that he's racist, but you're so insecure that you need blanket statements. So if you mm. pay attention, start by ditching the mask. It's like your fans are raccoons, cause they keep digging your trash. We're crying senses, mm. you the networks care about us. By the way, stream our new specials on Paramount Plus. It's a hate speech you're drop. Well, damn. Mm -hmm. And I saw certain bars like that. And shit. Trust me, with Eric Cartman, boy, has he. Look, for all of us. I don't give a damn what you think. I don't know why niggas wanted to love Eric Cartman so much. He an asshole to me. I get and I get it that he's supposed to be that, but nigga, sometimes he takes it over the limit. Ditching the mask, it's like your fans are raccoons, cause they keep digging your trash. That's crazy. But he ain't lying though. <laughs> he is not lying. You can't, that nigga can't take a joke. Cause crazy that he is the one to throw out all the types of jokes and shit. But yet when the jokes are turned back at him, especially about him being fat, and he's talking about he's not fat, he big bone. Nigga, get the I look. I have no. Maybe I'm not smart enough to know about Big Bone, but my nigga, sometimes I feel like that's a cop out. I'm sorry, but to me, if you ever say that you're not fat but you're Big Bone, to me, that's a cop out. Cause nigga, you're fat. Nick, big girl, you're fat. Nigga, you're fat. So I don't want nobody. And uh, cause I know people are gonna say, "Oh, why you gonna say?" No, I'm making sure I say it to anybody, male or female. But nigga, you're fat. Don't think your politics are backwards. Good grief. At least Kanye's a good rapper. At least Kanye's a good rapper. To show that you copy all the time. You even stole the Simpsons at a gradual decline. Now you're middle of the road. You lost track of what you fight against. So it makes sense you'd end up living on the side of it. Look, Charlie, you're making my buzz here. What a singer. Didn't expect so from the kid in love with a ginger. Now, I know it's hard, you know, dying of cancer. But I'm here. Because he's saying about how ginger kids don't have... A soul and such. If you remember that little episode where there was these three little ginger kids, and let's be honest, them pa the parents of them three did not like them motherfuckers. Because they look like they didn't have a soul at all. I ain't gonna lie. So, you ain't wrong. Nah, nigga, he ain't that. He ain't fat. Nah, mm -mm. I'm calling cap on that. Nigga, look at you and look at him. He ain't that fat. And it's crazy that I never thought that that nigga was, I never thought that nigga was a girl. And the other one too. Honest to God, I did not know. But, to me, that's Fuck this. Look here. Now, nah. I know she probably gonna help him, but now, nah. for all the times that her ass be freaking making Charlie Browns feel like shit, especially when it comes to the damn football when Charlie Browns is trying to kick it, that bitch always keeps moving it. 
I forget what her name was. Y'all let me know in the comments, but for her, fuck her. <laughs> but I'm gonna give I'm gonna hear her out. But it's still fuck her. Fucking ass up. Screw you guys. I'm going up her. Why don't you pick up someone your own size, you object? I'd say you're too mm. round to be a blockhead. But now that the shrimp mm. is alive, you might shrivel. Giving your rhymes, I'll pick at your mind for no nickel. I'm guessing it all mm. went wrong when your mother slept with so many wieners you moved into another. Dad left her, and he was so happy with his new lover till you turned him into chili and then fed him to your brother. I mean, it's still fuck her, but she's spitting. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but damn, cause uh, uh, man, uh, all I'm saying is that part where she took so many weeny wieners that your mom took so many wieners. Cause trust me, if y'all remember that episode where Carmen thought that he was dead or so. And nobody could hear him or such, but when reality they were ignoring him. But then for the mom part, one scene where the mom was getting, I can't even say deep, deep, that dick down. All I can say is, and the fact that they even showed that episode, they showed her getting, let me say it like this in wrestling terms. She was getting tombstone power drive by that black move by the black guy. So, hey, I do my shrivel in getting... your rhymes. I'll pick at your mind for no nickel. I'm guessing it all went wrong when your mother slept with so many wieners. You moved into another. Dad left her, and he was so happy with his new lover till you turned him. Is in culture and well, <laughs> Kyle hates him for let's be honest, Kyle hates him for many other reasons, but that's the main one, that's one of the main ones because this nigga always gonna get at him for him being Jewish. Nigga, you fat, so shut the fuck up. And you got and you got your, and your mom got power drive by a nigga so much times that at one point, didn't they say that she was his dad too? So I guess that's what that bar means, so... You're an anti-Semitic ogre! No wonder Kyle hates you! It's your isn't it's kosher! It's a kosher! It's utterly and completely, and I don't sugarcoat it, cause then you probably eat me! Here's my mm. I, You won't sugarcoat it, cause you'll probably eat me, cause that nigga... Like I said, I talk, look, I don't give a damn if he tries to... If I don't give a damn, you gonna get this work, nigga! If you gonna throw jokes at me, you better date these fat jokes. Completely, and I don't sugarcoat it, cause then you probably eat me. Here's eat my me. final two cents, this comes for the winner. Spell it out, Charlie Brown. Oh, wait, was I supposed to say something? Charlie Brown, you were supposed to deliver the punchline. Haven't you ever delivered on a basic setup before? You wouldn't know a good setup for a joke if it walked up and slugged you. I've seen you mess things up before, Charlie Brown, but this right here is unforgivable. You're hopeless, Charlie Brown. Completely, utterly hopeless. Good grief. Good God, grief. God damn. But anyway, Eddie and RB, sorry. Mixing by Fresh Canal. Figure Fresh Canal will have a point in this. Mm, this beat, though. This is Bob out. Boom, Bob out. You're going to Bob out. Boom, Bob out. Boom, Bob out. Hey man. <laughs> well, all I can say is shit. To me, 
Charlie Bro Charlie Brown won that shit. I don't care, especially with the help from her. Like I said, even though it's still her, she won. She Ed, Charlie was already spitting some crazy shit, but then she came in and say, "Let me really finish off this nigga for good and such." Oh, no freaky. <laughs> but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And hey, if you made it to the end, comment down below. Pile tombstone pile driver, <laughs> and that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out, and let me know if you want me to do any more of Eddie FRB. But 